the fuel tunnels. Reina, the commander's hurt badly. Bad. Is she alive? Let me check her. Check John. Ty, John is okay, but he's injured. He has multiple lacerations. She's not. We have another KIA. That damage she took killed her when the drug cycled and her vitals crashed. Corp to Weymire. Do you copy? I copy, Commander. What's up? Armored male with spike club and shield, extremely dangerous. He's in the fuel tunnels, could be anywhere. Watch your backs, shoot to kill. Confirm shoot to kill order. Waymire out. The body of that dog we put down earlier is gone. Weird. Do you think we should look in the meat locker? No, not now. Stay sharp. Do you hear that? Sounds like rodents. Great. The auxiliary lab is up ahead. Sun found a tunnel there in the sleeping area of the scientist. Let's check it out. Get low. Let's wait it out and see if we hear anything. Hear that? Hey, uh... I see a guy wearing armor with a spiked club and shield climbing out of the hole in the floor. Light him up. Didn't stand a chance. Yeah. Very bad day. Waymar de Clark. Do you copy, Commander? Go ahead, status. We are in the auxiliary lab. Male subject has been terminated. Actually, he still has a pulse, but it's fading fast. Dr. Steiger is on his way. Stand by and make sure he stays down. Don't worry, he's not moving. Is this the right way to the auxiliary lab, or is it the other way? I am getting confused. It's this way. We're close. Wait, what's this? A blood trail and bloody handprints. This door looks like someone wanted to get in there very badly. Okay, check it quickly. Whoa, that smell. We've got a dead body. Should we look? I mean, we are not going to get to John's shoot to kill victim in time anyway. You're right about that. It's pretty clear that going into an unconscious state just moves the drug cycle forward. They can take a tremendous amount of damage, but in the fatigue state, it leaves the body no capability to survive. You know, he flat out ordered that man's assassination. Not a thought of even trying to capture him, and we know he's suffering unknown drug effects. This is turning into another one of Thorne's recovery missions. Are we a research group, or are we a Black Ops cleanup crew? Because as much as we try to be the former, it always feels like the latter. Reyna, I get it. I've been struggling with this for years. It's why I wanted to retire. I'll talk to John. He's just protecting his crew. We should get moving. I'm going in. Ty, she's wearing a Willow Dawn jumpsuit. This is our former cryobirth occupant. We need to assume that there are at least seven other bodies not on the crew roster. She made her way in here, crawled in this corner, and bled to death. Imagine waking up from cryo into this madhouse having no idea what's going on. 
Thorn has a lot of explaining to do. Did you hear that? Yes, I hear it. Get your weapon out. More lab animals, I think. I don't see. Hi, look out. <laughs> I so hate having to do that to animals. Let's get going. We can come back and get the remains of both these two later. We have our one survivor and the two deceased, plus the lab monkey and cryo, ready for transport back to our lab. I think we're about done here. Can each of you give a quick status update to the group? The ship has been thoroughly searched. Other than some rodents, we cannot find any more survivors. I have the entire crew accounted for by matching blood or tissue samples. But we only have confirmation on 14 being deceased. One survivor and five whose whereabouts and status are unknown. Though we can safely assume they are victims whose bodies were mutilated and lost. We have also not found DNA samples of six of the eight cryobirth occupants. We know nothing about them other than we have remains of two. One being the crew member from the Willow Dawn. The other being body parts found in the fuel tunnels. After searching both the main and auxiliary labs, I have recovered eight intact drug samples. We have at least one of each sample mentioned in the library data and multiples of three different unique samples. I cross-checked this with computer raw experiment data. I can confirm we have all the live samples and the experiment data. Jenna, it's Clark, do you copy? Go ahead, Commander. Dr. Steiger, Reina, Zoon, and I are returning in our launch with the samples, data, and cryobirth. Bring the Kalindula's launch back here. Meet up with Waymire and Engstrom, do a final sweep, and return in our air raft. Yes, Commander. I'm on my way. patient is out of cryo and recovering slowly. He's undergoing a complete transfusion of artificial blood. We should clean out his system. That and some neural therapy should do the rest. He's going to be our guest here for quite a while. The other bodies are in cryo. I want to run my own analysis on the samples, then do a comparison of their physiology over a 300-day exposure period on the drug effects. Ty, buddy. You did great work here. I knew I could count on you. Look, I intend to honor my part of our deal. But you know I'm going to need all the data, the samples, and the bodies. You know that. And you can have that. By the time we are able to meet, I'll have finished my research and you can have what you need. Get yourselves to We Brazil. There is a Class A starport and naval base there. It's a great place for your ship upgrades and I can call in some favors. But listen, I know Rain Evangelos has her free trader in the system. Get her to borrow it for a while, and meet me in the Rilled system. It's a single jump away, and there's a small base on one of the moons off the first gas giant. I have a research and mining facility there. Let's spend a couple of days where we can talk in private and in person, and I'll show you why this information is so important. You want me to get Reina to bench her crew on Hui Brazil for a month, while we take the long shot on a joyride to some secret moon base on Rild, so you and I can smoke cigars and chat about illegal bio research? You really think she's going to go for that? 
This place is pretty cool. You can't beat cheap drinks and the locals seem pretty friendly. I like it, and we are certainly overdue for a little R&R. Cheers. Here comes the news on the main screen. Listen up. Maybe they'll mention us saving the calendula. Let's see. Welcome to News Brief, brought to you sector-wide by the Imperial Interstellar Scout Service. Imperial bounties have just been updated for sectors Harlequin and Benazdin. Assassin Marissa Sage, 1 million credits paid. Pirate Captain Selena Malastinov, 1 million credits paid. Mercenary, Fred Bug, 500,000 credits paid. Mercenary, William, Little Bill, Henderson, 500,000 credits paid. All charged with multiple crimes against the Imperium. Bounties are for delivery to Imperial authorities alive. All other conditions paid at 10%. Thanks for that Brian. Now in local news direct from Gadden Downport. The miners' strike is now entering day 7 after claims of safety and so font right violations in breach of contract with Lamarck Minerals. While Lysani Laboratories, which recently announced its purchase by tech giant, Macrogenesis, is seeking information on the whereabouts of Lysani executive, Dalgli Hosh. Hosh was last seen in the area surrounding Gadden Downport. Any information should be reported to Gadden Downport Security. Travelers News Service has been brought to you by the Travelers Aid Society. Okay then. No way, right? Damn. Shit. <laughs> 